In this lesson, we'll learn how to create custom brushes here inside of Sketchbook Designer. All right, great. So this is the Lesson 11 Begin file. If you want to follow along, feel free to open this one up. So inside Sketchbook Designer, we can create both custom brushes to utilize in both vector and raster mode, whether we're working on a vector layer or a paint layer. So let me show you how. We'll look here first at this vector one layer and inside this layer I've got just some simple leave shapes drawn here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to basically create a brush that will scatter these leaves so that I can paint them along say a ground plane and it looks like just leaves that have fallen off a tree. So easy enough. Well, let's come over here to the toolbar and let's select this brush right here. This is the custom brush and you can see here that if I jump over here in my attributes, we have quite a few different attributes. Now, in reality what I have selected is one of the brushes down here in our custom palette and in reality most of these brushes in here are indeed custom brushes. So you can see here we can kind of select along and we have different textures, different brushes that are being utilized here. So um, now with our custom brush, let's come in here and the first thing I want to do is I want to capture this particular artwork and I want to capture it so we can use it as a brush. So uh, we can scroll all the way down in our attribute editor until we see this capture button. Now I also want to make sure that I have used texture and use color from texture selected here. So um, basically what that's going to do is it's going to capture all these leaves and the colors that they are. So let's come in here and you can see here once I've clicked on that capture button we have sort of this little reticle here that is giving us an area to capture but it's not big enough to capture all three leaves. So let's just go ahead and hold the B key on my keyboard and we will make that uh, quite a bit larger here and let's go ahead and click right there. So now you can see that my custom texture has been captured here. So um, utilizing my custom brush I can now come in and paint but my texture is very very large or my my stroke is very very large so let's just begin to customize that here. I'm going to come up here and let's check out our minimum radius and our maximum radius and let's go ahead and shrink those down. You can see here, let me just kind of pan around so that original artwork's out of the way. As I'm shrinking these down, you can kind of see that stroke preview and what that's going to look like. Maybe we want the maximum radius to be quite a bit larger and the minimum radius to be smaller. Now, let's go ahead and con con continue to con uh, configure these attributes here. So, um, you can see here we can change the blend mode. We have normal and we have multiply here. Uh, we can change the number of grips. Now. When I create this custom brush, it's not going to create unique vectors for every single leaf that it places along this brush. We're still going to be creating a vector curve. So we can tell Sketchbook Designer how many grips we want that curve to have. So if we wanted to ramp that up, we could. Uh, we can come over here and adjust the opacity. I'm okay with uh, the settings as they currently are. Showing the stroke, we definitely want that. Roundness. That's going to be how round the brush tip is. Right now it's set at a 1. Uh, we can squish it in either one of the two directions. So you can see here we can squish it that way or we can begin to squish it this way. So in this case we want to leave that set at 1. We can choose to rotate this to our stroke and you can see here if we do that these leaves are going to sort of conform to the stroke that we paint. Now I've got a uh, the wrong drawing mode selected so let me just select that one there and see what that conform to stroke does. Now that's a little bit uniform but let me show you really quickly what that created. So uh, if I come over here you can see that is simply a curve that that brush is being applied to. Let me delete that and jump back over to my custom brush and we'll continue configuring. So you can see here we have rotation I'm going to turn off that rotate to stroke. We have rotation here which will rotate the artwork on the stroke but I'm not so concerned with the rotation. I'm more concerned with rotation noise. So if you've used other applications like say for example Photoshop, in this case rotation noise would be the equivalent of rotation jitter. So you can come in here and kind of randomize the rotation. We can do the same thing with spacing. I'm going to go ahead and randomize the spacing here. Kind of drop that down so we get sort of kind of a random pattern. 
All right, great. We also have control over the edge. I'm going to leave that at hard so we don't deform our artwork at all. Uh, but let's come in here and test out our new custom brush. So if I come in and I paint, you can see here we're getting a nice kind of coverage of leaves. We might want to come in here. Let's take a look at our attributes again. Where's my rotation? Let me get rid of those curves that we just drew so I can see what this is doing. And I may want to come in and adjust the roundness just a little bit here. Just so they appear a little bit flatter. But again, they're being rotated randomly based on this rotation noise, so uh, flattening it in either direction really isn't going to do just a tremendous amount of good in this case. So, uh, But you can see how we've created a nice leaf brush that we can now use to begin to, maybe if we had some ground cover, we could use that to come in and uh, begin to kind of cover that with some randomly shaped leaves. Now. The beautiful thing about this is we've created a custom vector brush. Now, we do need to save this if we want to continue to be able to utilize this for later use. So I'm going to really quickly access my custom palette down here, and I'm simply going to come in and drag that custom brush and drop it into the custom palette. And that's as simple as it is to save your custom brush. Now, we, that is a vector brush. Again, we used vector shapes to create that. So um, let me come in here, and I'm going to actually hide this particular layer. Let's bring in our paint layer. Now I've got several different shapes here. Um, I've got some scale looking shapes that we could utilize. Feel free to use what you want. And I've got a couple of different lines of these sort of rivets that I've painted up. So um, you can kind of see what those look like. They're based on this shape here. And I thought that maybe this would be a nice custom brush to utilize on our shoe. So let's go ahead and again utilize our custom brush here on our paint layer. And again, let's come in and create our own custom brush. So I'm going to come in and choose to capture this, but again we want to hold down our B key. Now there is the effect of the roundness, so that's affecting the capture area as well. So I'm going to come back up here and adjust the roundness back to a 1. There we go. And we'll just enlarge that, and I'm going to go for these four right here. Let's shrink that selection down just a little bit. Again, I'm holding down the B key on my keyboard here. We'll just go ahead and click that to capture it. There we go. And now we've captured that. So um, let's come down here and change our edge. You can see here, based on kind of this preview, it's set to soft. So we want to set that to hard so we get all of these brush strokes or all of this artwork in the stroke, rather. Let's change our minimum radius and maximum radius to write about the same thing. Let's change our spacing some. to Maybe something like that. And now you can see we've created, again, our own custom brush. So um, it's just that easy to create custom brushes here inside of Sketchbook Designer. Now you have a lot of different attributes that you can play with here. Um, not nearly as many as some programs, but they are very intuitive and easy to get used to using. Now, um, if this is something that I'm happy with at this point, let's go ahead and, again, just drag our custom brush right down here to our custom palette. And we'll drop that in, and now we have our custom brush saved so we can use it later on. All right, great. In this lesson, we have learned how to create both custom raster brushes as well as custom vector brushes here inside of Sketchbook Designer. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson. We've started utilizing the custom palette a little bit. I want to go ahead and show you about some additional functionality built into the custom palette in the next lesson.